Stephanie Yee from Math with Miss e, and today I'm going to share with you how I use my Wacom tablet, the Wacom One, to teach virtually. I've been teaching virtually pretty much the entire school year. We're about to head back in person um, and this has been amazing to just help me annotate on the screen while I'm teaching. Um, I'm going to walk you through the setup of the device and just a few features of this before I show you how I use it in my virtual classroom. So I'm going to go ahead and actually unplug this. First thing you'll notice is that there is a matte screen which is just so nice to write on. They, it comes with a pen and this pen is um, doesn't need to be charged which is amazing because I always forget to charge my devices. Writing using the pen on the screen is just super easy and it's exactly how you it would feel if you were writing on paper, which I appreciate. There's also legs in the back which allow you to prop up your device on your desk um, so that way you don't have to prop it up against like a ream of paper. I usually put my just on my desk with the legs up and you can put it on different places on your desk depending on your setup at home or at school. As you're setting this up, something you can also change is just the display settings. So if you want the arrangement to be different, um, so that way you can access your other displays, you can definitely do that as well. In terms of the input outputs for this device, there's just one for the tablet itself. This plugs straight in, and then there is a USB outlet, an HDMI for the laptop, and then also a power adapter. There's a little button on top to turn it on, but usually when I plug it in, it just automatically starts up. You'll notice on the screen that my desktop is currently showing up on the tablet. And you can kind of think of this tablet as like a third monitor in my setup, which I love because as I mentioned before, I am going back to school in a few days. I'm very nervous about that. I'm so used to my setup at home and just having all this space to work digitally. We're going back to school, teaching virtually still with our one laptop. So I'm really appreciative of this tablet because I can easily put it into my backpack, carry it to school with me, and then have another monitor to use while I'm teaching in my classroom. And so this one is super nice because it's predictable, it's portable, and really quick to set up anywhere. So that's our setup portion. What I'm going to show you now is just a few ways I've used it to annotate in my classroom digitally. So we're going to flip over to this side and let me show you how I do this. I'm going to show you how I use Zoom along with the Canvas platform to annotate on my Wacom tablet during class. A few things to notice, I am primarily using the pen that comes with the tablet. It's super easy to use and I can use it for pretty much everything. I'll use my trackpad on my laptop to, to scroll up and down the page, but other than that, everything I need to do can be done with this pen, which is super nice. I also have my button here set up so that if I click it once, it changes to my display. So let's say I'm on my tablet. If I click it once, it'll move to my laptop. If I click it again, that cursor will then move to my monitor. I just love that flexibility that it provides me. So I'm going to show you right now how I go about using my Zoom annotate to show my thinking to students virtually. So in Zoom, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. And I'm going to show you how I go over a quick check with students in class. The quick checks that we do in class kind of act like a warm up. My goal with these is that students are moving towards mastery, so I really push them to try it again if they need to. And with the focus of, like, this is not an assessment, super low stakes, your goal here is to just understand how to solve these problems. I'll give them a few minutes to solve it. They can submit it multiple times if they need to, and then we'll go over it as a class. So to go over as a class, I'll click the preview button so that way they can see the entire assignment. The assignment will then pop up and since this is screen shared, it'll show up on their end as well. At this point, I am using the trackpad to scroll up and down the screen 
And I like to kind of put the questions all on one screen. I might even zoom in a little bit so they can see that a little better. And at, I will then pull up the annotate tool. So this is where you'll find the annotate tool. There's a little toolbar up here with a bunch of tools you can use as you're hosting the meeting. And one of them is the annotate. Within annotate, the ones I use the most are the draw tools and then also the mouse. So I frequently just toggle back and forth between these two. The mouse allows you to click any buttons on your screen. So let's say I wanted to scroll up and down, I'll use the mouse. If I wanted to click into quizzes, I'll use the mouse. If you have your cursor set on draw, it won't allow you to do anything that a mouse might do. So notice how I currently have it on draw. And I went over to my trackpad to try to go up and down the screen. It's not going to allow me to do that. And so whenever you are on draw or on annotate and you're like, I don't know why this isn't working, check if you're on draw or on mouse. That will most likely clear up any problems you might have. Okay. So now that I'm on draw, I'm going to go over this problem with students. So I'll click on the draw tool and I might ask for students to explain it to me and I'll show work on my screen. So on my screen, I'll go ahead and show this work here. I'm going to solve this out. Oops. I'm kind of like at a crooked position here. But notice how while I'm writing this, like this is pretty similar to my actual handwriting. Sorry, it's a little messy, but it's just super easy to write with. Like it's way better than if you had a mouse and you're like trying to click, click, click. And it just overall feels so much more convenient to use. And as I'm writing this, students can also see it on their end since it's screen shared over to them and they can also write it into their notebooks as well. And so this is a super powerful tool. Imagine if you're going back to school and you're still teaching virtually, you can like put this up on your whiteboard and then have students be able to see your work. You can also still screen share and students can see exactly what you're doing and you can walk through this step by step. On the student's end as well, like they also have that annotate function and so they can also add on to your work. And so I really, really love how powerful this is. I love how it allows me to write and show my thinking to students. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully I was able to answer some questions you had about the tablet itself. And if you were thinking about purchasing this for your classroom, hopefully it showed you the different features that this has to help complement your classroom virtually or even in person if that's what you are doing. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and I will try my best to answer them. Have an excellent day. Bye!